got a brain, a bird brain. Choose to be a mouse in the house on the loose. Choose to be a turtle who retreats at every hurdle. You can choose to be a moose. You can choose. Let's see you do it. You can choose. We'll help you through it. You can choose. Better get to it. You can choose to be whatever you choose to be or not to be. Choose to be whatever you choose. You can choose to make a right turn, a left turn, a U turn. Go straight up for a bird's eye view. Choose to go alone, or you can choose to go in twos, or you can choose to be a moose. Michael Pritchard is a comedian who goes to schools all over the country to talk with kids like us about the choices we make. When he came to our school, Mike told some funny stories about growing up. Then a few of his friends acted out a skit where one of them came face to face with a very tough choice. And we were asked to figure out what that person should do. We learned that even when it's hard to choose, it feels great to make the right choice. You can choose to be whatever you choose to be or not to be. Choose to be whatever you choose. You Can Choose is a 10-part video series which teaches children to make positive and healthful life choices. The series is hosted by comedian and youth counselor Michael Pritchard. Each program presents a fun and compelling two-act skit where the main character must make a difficult choice. Between acts, elementary school children meet for an unrehearsed discussion where they decide how the problem should be solved. This highlights tape contains a brief sampling from each program in the series and begins with our program on cooperation. Where do you learn to cooperate first? I think it's at home. And it's hard sometimes to learn to cooperate at home because, you know, like, I remember my dad. You know, he was the kind of person, there's a lot of people like this. Their idea of cooperating is, you do what I say. <laughs> so watching TV at our house was no picnic. I remember sitting in front of the set with my brothers when my father would come home. Because when he would come home, you'd hear him before he'd even get there. <laughs> Daddy's home. <laughs> and then he'd yell at us, he'd go, Hey, we're all going to have a big vote on what we watch tonight on TV. What do you vote? What do you vote? What do you vote? All right, I vote we watch what I want to watch. See, it's my job to decide what we watch, and it's your job to cooperate. <laughs> hey, Dad, you think we could switch jobs? In Act 1, Moose decides he'd rather quit his singing quartet than let someone else sing lead. Here his friend Tuggy tries to convince him that he should be more cooperative. Hi, Moose. So I'm friend you are. Oh, Moose, that's not fair, buddy. Hey, come on back. We really need you. You don't need me. Sure we do. The reason our group is so awesome is because each one of us plays an important part. Yeah, Tuggy, and my important part is singing lead. No, singing backup's stupid. It's bogus. I sing backup. I never thought it was stupid. Well, I never knew you felt that way about my singing. Maybe what you really want is a solo act. Tuggy, Tuggy. Solo act? Gee, do I really want a solo act? I could sing any song I wanted. Of course, that means I wouldn't be able to sing with my friends, and it sure is fun singing with them. I'd really miss that. But I just don't want to play second fiddle. Boy, I'm really confused. I feel sad. This is one blue moose. Blue moose. Here I am standing alone. Without a song in my heart. Without a group of my own. What should moose do? I mean, should he cooperate and try and go back to the group or what? Yeah, he's 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 
learn to cooperate. I mean, he can't always have everything he wants. It's just yeah. not right. I think that they've been doing it his ways since they've been best yeah. friends, and now it's their turn to do something their ways. And it's like he's not used to not getting his ways, but this time he has to learn. Now, because then he'll know how it feels not to always get your ways. Yeah. In Act Two, Moose learns his lesson and rejoins the group. After several false starts, he finally discovers the joys of being cooperative. Where can I go from the beginning? I can go all the way to the end. Okay! Okay. <sighs> okay. One, two. One, two, three, four. Co-op, cooperation. Co-op, cooperation. Co-op, cooperation. Co-op, cooperation. Got a four part from the heart sharing song. Got all my buddies here to sing along. We may go sharp and we may go flat, but we listen to where each other is at. I did it! All right! In being responsible, Rhonda Bird must choose between having a good time and taking her commitments seriously. After promising to work all weekend on a group science project, she's tempted by her friend Fiona to go on a free trip to Disneyland. I have homework. Oh, well, don't do it. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Oh, but this is different, Fiona. This is the project for the science fair. I promised Missy, Tuggy, and Moose that I would do the trees for the rainforest. Well, that's their problem. No, it isn't. It's my problem. Well, um, stick some twigs and a little piece of styrofoam, and ta-da, a rainforest. You don't get it, Fiona. Everybody's counting on me. I have to do the job right. Can't we go next weekend? No, Rhonda, you don't get it. The plane reservations are for now. The hotel reservations are for now. My birthday is now. Oh, this is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. Oh, you mean you'd actually give up a free trip to Disneyland to stay home and work on a science project? Disneyland. Oh. Oh. so much fun on my birthday. Yeah. Oh, oh, maybe we'll meet some movie stars. Oh. Yeah, like Goofy. Oh, I wish I lived on another planet. What am I gonna do? How do you think you feel when you do something responsible? Good. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel good. Inside. Inside. Yeah? yeah. I feel like you've got, you got, got it finished with. You got it finished with and you feel yeah. good about yourself? And then yeah. everybody else thinks you're responsible, too. You have more friends because they yeah. can trust you. Because, like, lots of people don't want to be friends with someone who's it's, not your friend. Yeah. yeah, is a good friend a responsible person? Yeah, yeah really. All right, let me ask you guys this. Describe to me a responsible person. What is a... Give me some descriptions a of a responsible person. All right, wait a minute. Let's go around. Yeah. Somebody who takes care of things without no hassle. And someone yeah. who follows through with their commitments and promises. Yeah. Someone who does what their parents do when they tell them the first time. Yeah. Ooh, and I someone like you. who you can depend on. And someone who won't let you down. Somebody who won't let you down. Somebody you can trust. Somebody you can trust. When I was a kid growing up, I guess the hardest thing that I ever had to deal with was being afraid. I just didn't know sometimes how to deal with when I was afraid. And I'd be sitting it late at night, and I'd be all by myself in bed, and I'd have the blankets up real high over my head, and I'd hear a noise, you know. In dealing with feelings, Tuggy Turtle has difficulty facing up to his fear of going on a weekend camp out. Hey, Tuggy, wake up! Moose! Uh, best buddy! I was just looking for you. Are you, you. okay? 
Hack. For the YMCA camping trip. Way to go! No. Why rush? It's not till tomorrow. I'm bringing my nature guide. Just look at these wild animals. Are those things teeth? Yeah, aren't they big? I wonder how they keep those so sharp. Well, we don't have to worry. These animals live in South America. Oh. Here are the animals of North America. Ah! I'm not lying! <laughs> well, I can fight them with my fist! Well, Dougie, there won't be any mountain lions where we're going. Oh, some bobcats, maybe, and some snakes. Snakes? Snakes, yeah. Did I ever tell you about the time my Uncle Elmo found a garter snake in a sleeping bay? <laughs> They're not slimy at all, you know. Great, Moose. Just imagine us in the tent, Tuggy. Just you and me. The campfire dies down. It's pitch black. All of a sudden, there's an incredible noise from outside the tent. We grab the flashlight, throw open the flap, and whimble! It's bad! It's bad! <laughs> Why do you think Tuggy doesn't want to talk about his feelings? Because he thinks it's not like, um, it's not like boyish, and he thinks that he'd laugh at him and stuff. Yeah. He doesn't, because he'd be embarrassed if he, he admitted he was afraid then. They call him like scaredy cat and chicken and stuff, and yeah. they wouldn't like him or something. He's afraid that all the other students and the boys in the school are gonna talk about him if, they, if he tells everybody that um, he's afraid to go camping and he's afraid of wild animals. So it's really there's a lot of pressure on Tuggy. Then, in other words, I mean, what we're saying here is Tuggy's gonna have a hard time because what has Tuggy been doing all along? Lying, lying, lying. Well, yeah, but who's he lying? Who is Tuggy lying to? Um, he's lying to Moose, but who else is he? Himself. In saying no, when Missy's best friend tries to pressure her into smoking a cigarette, she learns that it's possible to say no and still be cool. Am I gonna really smoke this thing? Ooh, yuck! Cigarettes are awful, and they're dangerous. I know, because my mother's friend Carrie can hardly breathe, and still she won't stop. She's totally hooked. But Rhonda's right. Best friends are supposed to do everything together. If I don't smoke with her, she'll think I'm out of it and boring. Maybe she won't be my friend anymore, because I'm not any fun. What am I going to do? I hate this. My friend Rhonda did, I always went along Never had to try what I knew inside was wrong Should I do what others do in order to belong Or is it time for this girl to be strong? And I hope in the end that Rhonda's still my friend Anyhow, through fair and stormy weather We've done everything together until now does Missy say no to Rhonda and still keep her as a friend? I would ask Rhonda why she feels smoking is so important in her life and just to be cool there's other ways to you know look good and be nice and just friendly and smoking doesn't always make you cool. Very very good very smart very very smart. That's right. She could suggest that she could go like come over with Missy to play volleyball or she you. should like um, they can go to the park, ride their bikes, talk about things they've been doing in school, talk about projects they could be doing, and going to the movies, et cetera, et cetera. You bet. There's always options to doing something wrong. Suggest options to people. Good idea. These are great ideas. 